Here it is, February, fairly desolate. So what we are hunting for is a survival food. And when I say survival, I mean, you're gonna have to be a very hungry person to enjoy this. What we're looking for is called rock tripe. It's actually a fungus and an algae. So it's a lichen. Lichens are a symbiotic relationship between funguses and algae. There appears to be a little patch of the uh, rock tripe up at the point of this rock. We found our first piece of the rock tripe. It's kind of stuck in there. Pull it off. All right, survival food. Umbilicaria mammulata, genus and species name of this. We'll mostly find this in these sandstone rock formations. All you really have to do is find you a nice sandstone boulder and start looking up towards the tops and work your way down. And eventually you'll see these kind of like flashes of a stark black contrasting against the uh, rock itself. I'm gonna have to give this thing a bath three or four times because it is incredibly bitter. Um, if you would just pop this in your mouth and start eating it, it'd almost be a purgative that you're trying to avoid in a uh, starvation scenario, right? Of course. So what you're gonna do is uh, steep this in boiling hot water until you have a nice green kind of liquid in the, your cup or whatever you're boiling it in. So you're gonna dump that water out, strain this off, give it a couple shakes, and then boil it again until you have something that looks like the consistency of spinach. It's very low in nutritional value. So what we were talking about with survival food, you've got incredible hunger pangs, you need to fill yourself up, right? And there's not a whole lot to choose from this time of year. So what you can do is kind of fill your stomach up again on this rock tripe. In 1777, during the Battle of Valley Forge, um, General George Washington's men, um, nearing starvation, um, wrote down that they ate bushels of this to just make it through the winter. The tripe is um, eaten in other places. It's the lining of uh, animal stomachs. You can kind of see the resemblance of this and that particular dish. It's super plentiful in these rock outcrops. You, you'll be able to find it almost anywhere you can find sandstone. So in the Appalachians, it's pretty well any ridge top, right? This has been a production of West Virginia Public Broadcasting.